morning, welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've lost 200 pounds on a ketogenic journey, but I'm not done yet. Am I completely happy with the size I am right now? Yes, I actually am, surprisingly, because I thought I would be a size 12 when I hit my goal weight. I didn't know 20 pounds before my goal weight was it gonna be the size I wanted to be. Um, but I'm not gonna stop, so I guess I'm not gonna be a 12 in the end. I really thought it was going to be. So it is shocking, it is surprising. This happened a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I was kind of confused. I, You always sit in your head and you think, well, at this weight, I'll probably be this size. Well, at least that's me, I do that. Um, and I was totally wrong. So let's start the day. Coffee had just finished and I had to run and go get it. It's my first collagen coffee of the morning. I think it is about 11 something or maybe 12 right now. Let's see. It is 11.34. There are tons of comments. I would first like to say welcome to all the new subscribers. I am so happy that you are here. Hopefully I um, can entertain you and give you some good information. This channel is about my weight loss journey. Um, I still have 20 more pounds to go, and I'm not going to stop filming when I hit my weight loss goal, um, because then it's about maintaining, right, and toning my body even more. Uh, it's every, it's also about my everyday life, what I do. It's not just about what I eat. A diet isn't just about what you eat anyway. It's about your stress on your body, your mind, your sleep, everything. I had a lot of nightmares last night, so my sleep was horrible, and I woke up with this horrible, horrible headache, so I probably have to take an ibuprofen, which if you're new here, you will be shocked to find out that when I take ibuprofen, my weight actually goes up. It makes me hold water weight. It doesn't make me gain weight, but it makes it impossible for me to actually lose weight during that time of taking the ibuprofen. It's not the over-counter one. It's the 800 milligrams. I used to be on it all the time. It's why it took me three years to lose 200 pounds because last year I had to take it a lot, a whole lot. And hold on, I'm outside and it made me start sneezing. It's that time of the year that I my allergies are way worse. So last year I had to take a lot of ibuprofen and I stalled basically from October until March. And of course March I went up because we had no meats here and that's a whole nother story. Um, well, I really stalled from July, so last summer, to, yeah, I can't even say March, because I gained weight March, I guess April, um, because I was taking so many ibuprofen, and it took me buying a Keto Mojo, watching my ketones, watching my sugars, realizing that the ibuprofen was raising my blood sugar. Okay, it's very common knowledge. Any doctor will tell you ibuprofen, especially those amount of doses, can raise your blood pressure. But raising your blood sugar is a very rare thing. But I'm one of the people that it causes that issue in. So, that's why I stalled so long. That's why it took me so long to uh, lose weight. You might ask, if I know it stalls me, why am I going to take it? Well, I also know if I do extra workouts that day, sweat harder or just go stand in the sun. But right now, as you can see, I'm in a sweater. It's not that hot out here. It's like 71. Um, I can sweat off the water that it's causing and a day or so it lets me start losing my weight again. It's the only thing I'm not allergic to. I'm allergic to Helena, um, aspirin, you name it. I'm allergic to it. Ibuprofen is the only thing I'm not. Claritin is the only um, histamine I'm not allergic to. Doxycycline is the only antibiotic in the whole entire world I am not allergic to or does not affect my heart. Crazy, huh? Like everyone always is like, what? I'm allergic to a lot of foods or very sensitive to foods and they make me throw up. So on my channel, sometimes you'll get to see what my daughter eats. Sometimes she does do keto. But uh, on my channel, you get to see the girl who struggles because of medicines, because of what she's allergic to. But I can still tell you what you possibly can have. Also, I learned that sour cream and cream cheese, no matter how little bit of it, it stalls me. Same with the heavy whipping cream. 
and I was a heavy whipping cream fanatic last year as well. Um, not a lot, just like two tablespoons every coffee, and I would have multiple coffees a day, and and it was also making my stomach heartburn that I suffer from. I suffer from GER so much worse, and one of my beautiful people told me try butter. Okay, I've heard about the butter thing, I knew about bulletproof coffee, and my brain just went, ew, and I also was told to put salt in it, and I was like, ew, but I tried both at the same time, and loved it, and I have never turned back, that was this year, never use heavy cream anymore, put salt in every single coffee, I don't taste the salt, of course I do also use the salted caramel collagen, but um, it's... I like it. I put it in, in the vanilla. I don't, I don't know. I don't taste the salt. It makes my coffee less bitter. I found out a lot of people um, put salt in their coffee that isn't even keto. I had never even heard of that. And I was a barista for years and never heard about salt in coffee. Alright, so what is my day so far? Um... Like I said, when I have headaches, so if you're new here and I have headaches, it's hard for me to concentrate. Even if I was to write it down, it just doesn't work for me. Um, also, if I pronounce something wrong, I hope it doesn't irritate you. Um, if I don't say your name out, well, one is I don't, if you make a comment and I talk about it, I don't want to call you out and say your name. Um, and if it's a good comment and I can't figure out how to pronounce your name, and my mom's too busy to read it to me because um, they live down there, if you're new to me. Um, then I have a dyslexia and another type of learning disability when it comes to words. My brain will say it's something and it's not. And it can drive me crazy. I can read a book and get all the words completely right. I can read doctor's manuals, law books and get it all right but it doesn't come right out of my mouth and it wouldn't be right me trying to spell it forget it I can't spell it save my life okay um, and I used to feel very insecure and want to hide all that from people but um yeah Einstein couldn't spell Tom Cruise can't spell you know I don't like Tom Cruise but there's a whole list of people who can't spell and they still made it their life so um yeah it's just my life so, if it, like I said, if you're new to my channel, you get to hear about my life. You get to hear about what I've done all day, or sometimes see it. I'm hoping it won't be busy in Costco. The Sam's video was kind of fell. I had to walk fast. They were making us walk fast. They would not let us slow down. Um, but Costco don't have the rules that Sam does here. It, Costco is about an hour north of me, and... You can walk slower. I might not be able to talk. I might have to put music um, on, like, to mask any music they have in their store. But, but I'll go slow and show you and point at stuff that you can buy from Costco. Because Costco's got new finds a lot. Last time, um, I found, like, two new themes. And there's one thing we're going um, for, for sure. Um, my parents, I don't show the grocery hauls. And let me explain why. I usually go for my parents and my daughter's food. They're not keto. My keto journey right now, because I'm doing such a cut, I go usually, I am getting hammered meat today though, but usually I go to the fresh um, butcher shop and get my meat there. I can't eat a lot. You know, meats with no preservatives go bad very quickly. I don't eat frozen meat. Yes, I'm a picky little person. Um, but I've never eaten frozen meat. I can't stand it. Bacon's okay. I can freeze bacon and cook it the next day in the air fryer just fine. Uh, chicken just changes its texture. And hamburger just, it just never makes a hamburger again. It's just, yeah. I know. I'm a pain. So I go over there and I get my meats about three or four times a week. I normally film and show y'all what I get. I usually just stick to one meat for the week. Um... And I usually just go to the farmer's little stand and get, like, my tomatoes and cucumbers. At the grocery store, I get a head of lettuce. Um, I've had tons of those little bags of cauliflower rice. 
and now I have a broccoli one I tried yesterday and I'm going to try again today. I have a lot of stomach issues so I have to weigh out the broccoli, the cauliflower. I can't have cabbage at all which really upsets me. Um, so you'll see YouTubers be like, or if you, you know, you do keto and you might be like, why are you only eating 85 grams of broccoli? You have like, you know, 12 more total carbs left. You, you have plenty of carbs. You can eat the whole bag of broccoli. If I want to throw up, I can eat the whole bag of broccoli. My stomach can't handle keto vegetables. Um, what are they called? I don't, I can never pronounce the type of vegetable they are. The, um, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, um, cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, they ferment in your stomach and some people like me cannot break it down properly and it will give me horrible burping, horrible gas, severe pain when I'm laying on the floor. I'll throw up like crazy. I know too much information, but it's true. But I learned that there's a few of them I can have as long as it's only 85 grams, which fits in my macros perfect anyways. Um, and it really keeps me from overeating them uh, because I can't have a lot. Same with cucumbers. I love cucumbers to death, but they will stall me if I have more than 100 grams a day. Um, and 100 grams is a good little size cucumber. And that's what I eat. I chop it up and I put it in a salad. And I'm, I measure my tomatoes because I have issues with nightshades, but I want tomatoes. So as long as I stay around 60 grams or less tomatoes, I can have tomatoes every day. So you will hear me tell you the weight on everything. And I, you might have followed people that say it's crazy and it's eating disorder when you start tracking like that. No, it's not eating disorder. It is not crazy for two reasons. One, I have a stomach issue. And two, I want to cut and I want to lose weight. You can't eyeball cauliflower. You can't eyeball butter and mayo and be like, well, I just had 85 grams of fat. No, you might have only had 20 something or you might have had like 130. I don't use tablespoons other than like powder seasoning, but everything else gets weighed on my scale. My meat, my lettuce, my cheese, everything gets weighed because eyeballing it never gets it perfect. And I'm tracking everything right now. Um, so it needs to be perfect you will see that my weight is crazy at times of the month. The last um, week of the month is shark week for me. So I usually go up quite a bit. Um, I go up and down, up and down like a teeter-totter. The next two weeks of like the next month, the next two weeks, so those three weeks, there's no weight loss for me. There is weight gain, but no weight loss. But then something magical happens, and it's happened all summer, and I call it magical because it's weird. Um, and spring, I've been tracking very, very, like, insanely since April 1st because I want to understand my body better. So, I usually get kicked out of ketosis during that time, too. Not as bad as lately, though. Lately, it's a little crazy. So then a miracle happens, and I just whoosh day after day after day after day until I'm about seven to 10 pounds off for the month. I never know for sure if it's gonna be a seven pound month or a 10 pound month. And it all comes in like a 10 to 12 day right there. And then that time of the month starts all over again and the whole process about gaining a little and then going down a little, but that way loss sticks. Then next month I will lose a new about seven pounds and it will be a new number. So that's why I am pushing for being at my goal weight by Thanksgiving because it's 20 pounds and we still got the month of September to lose weight. And then, you know, October, almost the whole month of November. So I should be able to get 20 pounds off. We will see. If not, I'm not going to be upset because I usually don't lose any weight from September to February. The cooler months, I don't seem to lose much weight. However, I'm taking on a three day a week with my um, boyfriend online. He lives in Hawaii. If you're new here, 
and I haven't seen him in a year, so it's driving me crazy, but we have Portal and we have Skype, and we're going to start doing, he works out all the time. He's not into diets, he's into working out. So we're going to do all my little dumbbells and all my little things I did in the pool all summer in my labor room. Plus, we play VR boxing and VR dancing, and it sweats me up a storm. So all that's going to be added back in this week. It's kind of hard when I have the headache. That's why I'm taking the IV program because I can't put the headset on with a headache. VRs can only give you headaches. And if you don't know what it is, it's virtual reality. You put it on and you're tied to your computer because Quest has been sold out forever. So you have to be tied to your computer and you go in there and you pick your game that you pay for. This stuff is not cheap, but it's not crazy expensive either. Um, and the dancing one's actually kind of fun. And you go in there and you compete. And you used to get compete in boxing. And they took the multiplayer out, which really, really upset me. Because that's the reason he got it. Just to do it with me. It's not his cup of tea, but it's mine. And the same with the dancing. It's so he can do it with me. Just so we can have something fun to do. We used to play GTA 5 and a bunch of other games online together. But I pulled the, um this ligament from my fingertips to the back of my head um, last fall. And you'll see my head shake occasionally too. I also pulled nerves, um, a muscle that's twitched around nerves in my back. I was getting physical therapy when the virus hit and they had to cancel and still no physical therapy. But the pain is excruciating and I can't use this hand to walk. If you are a gamer, you know you need your left hand to walk and your right hand to do your spells or your shooting, depending on which game you're in, you have to have both. So I can't play games like that anymore, which kills me. I guess it's a good thing I'm not playing World of Warcraft anymore because I would have lost my mind having to stop that game because I played it for like 11 years straight. So, yeah. So I am a gamer if you're new to my channel, but Right now it's VR world because I don't really need to use this hand other than like this motions and you know, I can do some funky things with it, but as long as I'm not using the fingers separately, I'm good to go right now. Oh yeah, I was talking about the comments earlier. There are so many comments and I don't have time to read them right now. So you'll probably see this and I would have already answered the comments. Usually I answer the comments as soon as I wake up every morning. But today, I don't have time for that, so I'm going to be doing it this afternoon because i got to get to Costco. I don't want to be in that traffic. And it's starting to warm up a little out here, so I am going to take this off. So if I can film in Costco, I will be. And, um, of course, I'll show you what I'm having for dinner because right now, I don't even know what I'm having for dinner. I really want to try the Costco hamburger meat again. I used to be able to eat it. And then it was just too fatty and I couldn't eat it no more. And I had to switch over to the sirloin ground beef from the meat market. But it is expensive. Very expensive. It's double the price. Because, you know, Costco, you can get hamburger meat for like $3.99 a pound. And I'm paying $8.99 a pound at the meat market for my hamburger meat. There is a huge difference, though, in ground sirloin and ground. I think there's a chuck i don't know i have to look okay i'm gonna shut up because i should already left like five minutes ago so let's go um go do it and i flipped my thing around isn't this lovely i really suck at using the little wand to uh turn it off but uh yeah we're on my porch today it is so pretty i'm like let's go outside the video is not always as clear but as you can hear, anyone who follows my channel, no AC. It usually comes on a million times when I'm talking, but it's so nice today. It hasn't even come on. I love fall. I love summer, don't get me wrong. I love the pool and stuff, but but I love all seasons. I wish we had snow here. It doesn't really snow here. You have to go up the mountain occasionally, and like every few years we'll get a dusting. But the months I don't like is January, February, March. They're wet, they're cold, they're nasty. There's no fun events, even though my birthday's in March. It's just not my cup of tea. But this is, I love this time of the year. I'm already started decorating for fall.
Okay, so it's crazy late. It's 9 o'clock, and guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to tell y'all my weigh-in today. So my weigh-in was 170.6, so I have gone down some, and I'm still up from my lowest by 2.5 pounds, but we're getting there. This happens every single month. I go up, and then I go down, right? Every month since spring. And we, so you're about to see that little weigh-in. And we're going to take a trip to Costco. So we're going to start in the avocado section and go on. It's too late for me to be talking. So we have avocado. $5.99. That's not a bad price. I pay way more than that. Of course. Yeah, no. That stuff can stall me sometimes. Okay, we have squash and zucchini. Asparagus. We also love Brussels sprouts. We have two different ones. We have mushrooms. And yes, you can have green beans, you just need to weigh them out. I usually go for this one over here. I actually think I'm going to get a bag today. We have baby cucumbers, or cute cucumbers. My mom wants a bag, so we're getting a bag. Freezing to do this for you. We have organic spinach, baby spinach, which I think I'm going to get a bag. Some really good raspberry. We have normal ones and we have organic and here are the prices. I try not to get people in my video. Size spinach, they sell them in big bags. I'm gonna go slowly as possible. Plus I am dying. Dying of cold. And yes, some people can have carrots. And we have a bunch of salad mixes you can use, just don't use the little bag inside them. And most of the time you don't want to use the salad dressing, but you can still use the rest of it. We have blackberries before 19. And then we have two different kinds of blueberries. You can also find all the celery you want already cut and washed for you. Also, different kind of tomatoes. We're going to get this one today. And these are about the prices of them. Really busy, so I'm going to show you what I can. I don't like farm fish, but this is farm salmon. Just slowly going to go through the fish as slow as possible. It is starting to get crowded. Here's my favorite fish, but it's been giving me heartburn when I make it, so I haven't had it in forever. You can have this stuff on keto. So like I was saying, they have a very good deal on hamburger meat, 3 dollars a pound. So I am hoping I can eat it again and save a lot of money. Plus I split with my family because it is huge. We also have ground bison, which I have actually never tried. We're just going to walk as slow as possible. I also don't want to be in people's way. So we might get some ribeye. So we are going to get the ribeye roast. They have so many different choices right now and the prices are finally going back to normal. And they have some pork loin on sale right now. Every time 
everything I'm showing you is what you can use for keto. Right now we've only covered clean keto products. This is a pretty good price. This is way cheaper than what I pay at the meat market. The only problem is it's all big and I don't freeze stuff. I really want to try this, but they're always, they only are sold here, and it's so much, like, I can't eat all that. Like I've been saying, if you have tons of weight to lose, you don't have to eat all the fat. You can do a higher protein and it's still keto. As long as you're running on ketones, it is keto. Um, I think those are weans, organic weans. They're kind of expensive. So this section's all organic. I'm not the only one who does the lower fats. Well, right now I'm doing the higher fats. I'm doing 85 fats grams a day and a hundred and something protein which equals believe it or not more fat than protein I know it's weird but usually I do 45 It's like the world of cheese here. There are so many choices. If you like cheese and don't want to give it up, keto is definitely the way to go. Okay, so this is amazing cheese fried up. I don't really like this flavor. I like the Kobe Jack one and the hard to find. These are a little high in price and carbs for me, but for someone like my daughter, they're perfect. Like I said, world of cheeses and a different kind of meats. I love these, but I had a larger reaction because I didn't realize it was sheep casing. I'm gonna get a pack of this for my mom. I get these during Christmas. Let me show you all the prices. They are pricey. They're lazy, like me sometimes. These are good options, but they are expensive but they don't have any carbs. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I don't know how long they're going to carry it. Not that many ingredients. No carbs. We're gonna get a couple. Always have this one. It is not my favorite, but it is okay as well. It is cheaper. Um, as you can see, it's fine, but still not my favorite. Occasionally I'll be lazy and buy this. There's these as well, which are really good, but I had a larger reaction. I'm going to get this for my daughter. My mom and daughter loves these things, and they just came back with them. They also have these. I have never tried them and they are zero carbs because it's just 
cauliflower powder. It's mostly egg. But I think I can make that myself. This one has one carb per serving. Two tablespoons for one carb is not bad. They need brown eggs. They also have white eggs. They also sell already rolled eggs. I just don't like the textures of pre-done eggs. They still don't have toilet paper or paper towels or anything like that. Um, I went to the guacamoles because I had to get my parents some and they're all kind of high in carbs. Just like that little squash dish to me was high in carbs. So, yeah. But we, uh, I did find some bang just now. So they do have bang if y'all drink that. It's new. I don't drink almond milk, but check it out. That's kind of cool. This one also. Let's see if I can make it better for you. And check this one out. See what it looks like. I mean, some people don't mind drinking a one carb, but no problem. I do it. These are all drinks that are zero. So there's lots of bacon, but we are going for the pre-cooked for my daughter for school. Fast and easy, that's all she wants. On keto, if you're a dirty keto, you can almost have any kind of sandwich meat. Most hot dogs, some sausage dogs have issues, but not all. There's tons of cheeses to always choose from. We saw our best friend, Carrie Gold. We have an unsalted and salted. I always go gold. I'm grabbing some. They have not had these in a while. $11.99, I don't care. Some frozen broccoli. Some heavy whipping cream is what I used to get here all the time. It's a really good price everywhere else. It's $5, but I haven't been using it. Sour cream, I would buy it here. You get a big container for $4. We have a big bag of rice cauliflower. We also have a mixed bag of greens that you can also have on keto. A lot of people eat this on keto, this yogurt right here. I hate it. I will not be buying it. My daughter hates it too. And frozen berries with no problem as well. Just be careful. Some of them do have sugars in them. I was in shock. And things like um, frozen fish, shrimp, Alaskan burgers that my daughter absolutely loves. It's a little pricey, so we're not getting it today. Always find frozen hamburger patties. Fast, easy, not confusing. So these little chicken sausage links are really good as well. I have these. They are seven total carbs, five net. I would not want to waste that many carbs on them. First, you can always find a bucket of pork rinds. Six ninety nine. Okay. Same as bad as I thought it was. A half a tray of rice, cauliflower rice. A half a tray of the entree. Eleven total carbs. Eight net, but it's a full meal. But I'm not trying it. They're getting some beans because they are on sale. That's five dollars off the pack. What is my limit? Six. Find nuts. That's a easy find at stores like this. There's our prices. Okay, so we have different kinds of extra virgin olive oils to choose from. We have more nuts, friends, Himalayan salt, but I prefer the grinder, but we have it. We have organic coconut oil. This is what I get. This is what I use on my body and in my cooking. $13.99, it lasts forever. We also have ghee. A lot of people do this, like Keto Connect uses ghee a lot. We decided about this, and we are buying it because this stuff is expensive. 
And now I have more, cheaper than buying on Amazon. Your almond flour. We found the coconut flour here. Um, they don't also sell sweet and low. I know a lot of y'all are against sweet and low, but it's my world. They sell Sevia and they sell Splenda though. But I couldn't get down the aisle to record too many people were down there. For mayos, we even have an avocado based mayo and Duke, but that's too much Duke for me. They are on brand of apple cider vinegar with the mother. We have our black olives and our green ones. Our yummy bacon bits by Costco. We're getting two packs of them one for me, one for my parents. They also have some sliced almonds. You can always find nuts here, I swear. Okay, let's go over the canned fish, like tunas, salmon, sardines. They have a bunch of different ones. I show you the one that we do buy. I wish I wasn't allergic to. I really enjoyed this one right here, but it breaks my mouth out instantly. This one's also good, a little expensive. Like I said, I can't have this kind of stuff. It's new. I've never seen a roast beef in a can before. That's kind of interesting. Zero carbs. Hmm. What's this sodium? Huh. Wonder if I should get that just in case. We would grab Spam, but we prefer the low sodium, like 25% low sodium. And no, I didn't get the beef. It's a little expensive. So here comes some really dirty keto and some items you could keep on stock just in case the world runs out of meat once again. People love this stuff. We absolutely hated it. Did not like it. I have to go down every aisle to make sure I don't miss anything that my parents want, but there's nothing really to show on this aisle because I don't recommend them buying canned vegetables and stuff. Because they put a lot of stuff in it, you don't need. Go to your freezer section, buy the freezer if you can afford it. Usually it's cheaper too. At least it is for me because I go to the local stores and I get stuff on sale. Also, it, um, even their mushrooms have sugar in it, like their canned mushrooms. So you want to stay away from that. Let's see if they have the spaghetti sauce and I can show you. Show you something. Zucchini pizza stuff like shells not keto very high in carb I you might as well eat a regular shell that thing had more uh, carbs in it than some of the little shells that I buy already so you have to watch out just because it says zucchini just because it says cauliflower does not make it keto friendly also they are out of the salad not salad but the, <laughs> the marinara sauce I wanted to show y'all so, oh no, I found it, hold on. Even if I wasn't keto, I would love this stuff. It is amazing. So, it is, sorry, it is five net carbs for half a cup. That is very low. And it's $10 for two of them. Nope, $10.69 for two. So I'm gonna pick some up. This is the chicken stock we use constantly and it is $10.79 for the box. And what else do we have? I don't like the Parmesan ones, but I do love Wits. For some hemp hearts, they sell them here. There's a lot of y'all that use this powder, um, peanut butter stuff to make peanut butter out of. And you can buy it here for $11.89. We eat these when I fly to Hawaii. The small ones are about five carbs a piece. I think the biggers are seven, but I'm not, I don't really remember. Let me look. Oh, no, the big ones are way more. But this is just what I get when I go to Hawaii because you get it on the plane. Um, it is great for low carb, but not for keto. Fitz has a new flavor, Pina Colada Limited Edition. I wish it didn't give me heartburn. I would be all over that have plenty of premier protein and muscle milk if you use either one of them they are on sale have keto collagen which i am allergic to this one but 
I've been told it is pretty good. Okay, we have more nuts to choose from. Like I said, they always have nuts. Lots of different kind. I think that's the end of the food section. I just want to remind everyone to be very careful when you see the word keto or be very careful when you see the word cauliflower or zucchini. It doesn't mean it's low carb. It doesn't mean it's keto. Also, if you do clean keto, you already know most products that say keto has a lot of bad ingredients for you because you don't eat any of that crap. So I'm going to shut up, go ring out this big buggy, and start traveling home. It's quite a ways. Also, I went to Walmart and got me this little Cory Wire jacket because I was freezing and there was no way I was going to make it in the store. So I am in a Starbucks waiting for my order. I decided today to do net carbs. So I am getting a Venti Americano with the sugar-free cinnamon dolce and three things of butter. I have not had cinnamon sugar-free dolce, oh my gosh, since the beginning of the year because I haven't been doing their fake sugar, but I decided today, why not? Most of you, these does not hurt my stomach. It does not affect my blood sugars, my ketone, like nothing. It doesn't hurt me at all. It actually helps me, believe it or not. It's 5.30. I still haven't eaten today, but I'm going to show you what I bought real fast. Remember, I did buy that big thing of hamburger meat that me and my mom's going to share. So that's down at her house right this minute. I'm going to be cooking these green beans up tomorrow for the whole family. Um, I did get me my ice cream, which, you know, I might have one. We'll see. I really regret that coffee, though. It tastes like crap. I now realize I just like Americanos with just butter. No sweetener any longer. You know, I got my monk fruit. I got me some um, marinara for later. Not today. Some more eggs. Kerrygold butter is always a must. I like to keep these on hand. Um... You know, I got four packs of these, and this I'm cooking tomorrow for the whole family as well. It goes for a couple of days. I usually get three or four days out of this, um, and I'm just talking about my share, okay? I'm not talking about the whole thing um, because I split it with, you know, my parents my daughter, but I eat such small little portions that usually the amount I make for myself lasts me three days usually. And then I get, my dad gets multiple days out of it as well. No one else likes to eat it. Like, they like it for one meal and that's it. I'm the one who will eat it forever. So I'm going to um, figure out what to cook, put this stuff away because it's been out too long. Well, it's still freezing because I put them in cold bags. And I will show you a few things I also got that has nothing to do with keto. So I got me some socks while I was at Costco. They're very soft. I love these kind at winter time, so I am thrilled about this. I'm trying different underwear, all right? I normally get my underwear at Kato's, and they have been very scarish, so we're gonna try. This will be way cheaper if they work for me. Um, I don't know. I picked a medium. I wasn't sure what size to get. I don't really like this kind, but I could sleep in it, right? We're, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. See, uh, supposedly I've gotten way too small. Like I should have got more like an extra large when it comes to underwear. But I'm used to all the other places where buying medium or large. So we'll see. We'll see. 6.15. This is my first will meal of the day. I had a collagen coffee hours ago. And a Starbucks sugar-free cinnamon dolce, which was gross. Um, so, what am I having in this bad boy today? We are having almost seven ounces of chicken. I put six black olives in it. I put one serving of cheese, two servings of mayo, um, 41 grams of tomato, 80 grams of cucumber. I have spinach today and lettuce coming to a little over 60 grams, more like 70. And I'm starving, so... Let's go eat. Well, at least let me go eat.